I died several times. And now you might be wondering, what does a 14 year old girl know about dying? Well, let me tell you. I died when I inhaled the chlorofluorocarbons from the AC. I died when I ate the highly dangerous food with added chemicals and preservatives. I died when I drank water from our rivers. Are we also not dying when all of this is happening around us? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ketki Gosavi and I am here to talk about climate change. Now, what exactly is climate change? By definition, climate change is the gradual heating of our planet through the emissions of greenhouse gases, GHG. It is an effect of human activities on our planet, more specifically industrial activities. Now, what are the effects of climate change? Increasing temperatures. The global surface temperature rises together with greenhouse gas concentrations. The hottest decade recorded was from 2011 to 2020. That is more recent. There are more hot days and heat waves now than there were ever. The Arctic is melting twice as quickly as other locations. That leads us to severe storms. In many areas, destructive storms have increased in ferocity and frequency. As the temperature increases, more moisture evaporates, resulting in very heavy rainfall and flooding. That then result in more severe storms that give us, sorry, that demolish houses and towns. Moving forward to heightened drought. Water supply is changing due to climate change. It is becoming more and more limited in many places. In already water stressed areas, climate change is making things worse. In it increases the danger of ecological and agricultural droughts, which can be harmful to our crops and make our ecosystem more vulnerable. It sparks the sandstorms that carry billions of tons of sand across continents. That leads us to insufficient food. Now, how you may ask? Well, the more the desert, the less the agriculture. Global hunger and poor nutrition are on the rise for a variety of reasons, including climate change. Crops, animals and fisheries might all be lost. Marine resources that provide food for billions of people are in danger. Food sources from hunting and fishing have been hampered in several Arctic locations due to snow and ice cover changes. Moving forward, we get to more health risks. There is only one thing that is now very dangerous to humanity, and that is climate change. Air pollution, sickness, harsh weather, forced relocation, stress on mental health, and increasing hunger in areas where people cannot even grow food are some of the examples. 13 million individuals every year are killed by environmental conditions. Extreme weather events increase fatalities, making it challenging for healthcare systems to keep up with the growing number of the diseased and taking care of them. That leads us to declining species. The rate of extinction on the planet is 1000 times higher now than it has ever been. Threats from climate change include exotic pests and illnesses, forest fires and harsh weather. A very good example of forest fires would be the Amazon forest fire. One million species will be ex extinct in several decades ahead. Moving to rising sea levels. All ocean depths have experienced a significant rise in ocean warming during the past 20 years. Sea levels increase as a result of melting ice sheets endangering coastal and island people. Additional CO2 is absorbed by water, keeping it out of the atmosphere, but it causes the ocean to become more acidic, endangering coral reefs and marine life. Now, let us take a look at the causes of climate change. Endless desire of humans to produce power is one of the reasons. Burning coal, oil or gas still supplies the majority of the world's electricity which produces carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxide 
two potent greenhouse gases that cover the planet and trap the sun's heat. Only a little over the quarter has contributed to renewable energy resources. Moving on to deforestation, a very big problem currently. Destruction of trees reduces nature's capacity of emissions out of the atmosphere because they absorb carbon dioxide. Cutting down forests to make way for farms, pastures or even other purposes increases emission because when trees are felled, the stored carbon inside the trees is released leading to increasing temperatures thus leading us to global warming. Moving forward, consuming excessively. You can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by changing the way you live, how much you throw away, how much you eat and how much you move around. Private property owners give or contribute a whole percent to the greenhouse gas emissions. The richest 1% of world's population together contribute to greenhouse gas more than the lowest 50%. Hence, they suffer the most burden. Now, do you think it was right of us to use all of this? Do you think humanity will survive further? Let me give you an interesting fact. Nature keeps adapting. It is us humans that take more time. So now is our time to stand up on our feet and start working. Thank you ladies and gentlemen.